If you want freedom, take pride in your country. If you want democracy, hold on to your sovereignty. The future belongs to patriots. The future belongs to sovereign and independent nations who protect their citizens, respect their neighbors, and honor the differences that make each country special and unique. I will not accept a bad deal for the American people. As we endeavor to stabilize our relationship, we're also carefully monitoring the situation in Hong Kong. The world fully expects that the Chinese government will honor its binding treaty made with the British and registered with the United Nations in which China commits to protect Hong Kong's freedom, legal system, and democratic ways of life. One of the greatest security threats facing peace-loving nations today is the repressive regime in Iran. The regime's record of death and destruction is well known to us all. Not only is Iran the world's number one state sponsor of terrorism, but Iran's leaders are fueling the tragic wars in both Syria and Yemen. At the same time, the regime is squandering the nation's wealth and future in a fanatical quest for nuclear weapons and the means to deliver them. We must never allow this to happen, to stop Iran's path to nuclear weapons and missiles. I withdrew the United States from the terrible Iran nuclear deal, which has very little time remaining, did not allow inspection of important sites, and did not cover ballistic missiles. Last year, the country's supreme leader stated Israel is a malignant cancerous tumor that has to be removed and eradicated. It is possible, and it will happen. America will never tolerate such anti-Semitic hate. Around the world, our message is clear. America's goal is lasting. America's goal is harmony. And America's goal is not to go with these endless wars, wars that never end. My administration is working with other nations to stop criminalizing of homosexuality. And we stand in solidarity with LGBTQ people who live in countries that punish, jail, or execute individuals based upon sexual orientation. We are also championing the role of women in our societies.